Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, red for short. I worked 5.15 till noon again. I went for a walk. I'm having a nice cup of sea salt caramel hot cocoa in my Alice in Wonderland cup that goes with the <laughs> goes with the funny picture of McTwist. The bunny's not on the cup. Look, there's a cat. See? There's a cat. Cheshire cat inside. Yeah, no bunny on the, on the um, thing. But anyways, I'm going to read Daily Celebration. This is another good one. It's called barriers. I have come across in an old notebook a copy of a certain prayer. Years ago, I think I must have copied this prayer from W.H. Eliot's autobiography, Undiscovered Ends. W.H. Eliot was one of the most famous and effective of early religious broadcasters, and there was a time when the weekly service from his church in London was one of the great religious events of the week on the wireless. The service went on for years, and through the years, a very real unseen fellowship of listeners was built up. Out of that fellowship, there grew the League of Prayer, which had a prayer that all of its members were pledged to pray. It ran like this. O God, who has made of one blood all nations of men, mercifully receive the prayers that we offer for our anxious and troubled world. Send thy light into our darkness and guide the nations as one family into the ways of peace. Take away all prejudice and hatred and fear. Strengthen in us day by day, the will to understand. And to those who by their counsels lead the people of the earth, grant a right judgment that so through them and us thy will be done. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That's a good prayer. I often don't know what to say. When I'm praying for the countries that are at war, just, oh, my heart breaks. My heart just breaks for all of them, all of them. And I, I, I just pray, and, but I, I don't know what to say sometimes. I just don't know what to say. If ever we needed to pray that prayer, we need to pray it today. It is a prayer that God may guide men at last to live in a world where the barriers are down. We have our international barriers. When we look at the world calmly and sanely, it is incredible that the nations are busily engaged in bankrupting themselves and threatening the health of mankind in an attempt to build up a store of weapons the use of which would make the earth uninhabitable. Such barrier erecting is devilish. Tomorrow is on barriers, part two. But um, in case you haven't guessed, I will put the link below again to Wikipedia about William Barclay, but um, he was a pacifist. So, that said, I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.